What's up, guys? My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we are reacting to 10 rare animals only found in the Philippines. I guess a lot of people saw all our Malaysian video and they kind of wanted to see what we would think about the Filipino yeah. animals. Which yeah, I'm so. an animal fan, so I'm willing to watch. I, I used to watch Animal Planet all the time until I got rid of cable, so. Well, I'm excited to know what animals are only in the Philippines. Right. Because that's... that's Kind of weird. obviously unique. <laughs> yeah. So I'm ready to hop in if you're ready. Let's do it. 10 animals native to the Philippines. The Philippines is a beautiful archipelago nation made up of 7,641 islands. It is known for its many beautiful beaches, delicious fruits, and exotic island tourist attractions. If you go to the islands, you will find no so lack beautiful. of fun yeah. and exciting things to do. It's so unfair. It would take more than 20 <laughs> years to spend just a day on each of the islands, but you should make sure to carve out some time to see the amazing wildlife. The Philippines are home to a host of exotic and exciting species. There are 10 animals native to the Philippines. Turtle. Number 10, Philippine flying lemur. No. That's terrifying. That's so scary. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of got its its cuteness. It's so scary that it's kind of cute. It's like a bat lemur. Own locally, Big yes, eyes. the Kagwang, the Philippine flying lemur, has a bit of a misleading name. It is technically not a species of lemur, and it actually can't fly. What's up with that? Well, you'll be relieved to know that? that this beautiful species that? can actually glide for distances as far as 100 meters. So it's like a sugar glider it this? or a it squirrel. It has a foot-long tail that is connected to its front legs is. with a skin membrane. The result is a monkey-looking creature with big bat-like wings. They also have clawed feet for fast climbing. As a nocturnal creature, it spends its days fastened to the side of trees, sleeping and resting. But at night, they glide from tree to tree, eating if fruits, I saw that. insects, Young <laughs> yeah, that's flowers. terrifying. Because fruit is one of the major agricultural products of the Philippines, the locals actually considered this fruit-eating lemur a pest. But that doesn't keep us from considering it a beautiful Philippine species and putting it on our list. Number nine, Philippine crocodile. Let's get a bit more dangerous, Ooh. shall we? The Philippine crocodile is a comparatively small species of crocodile native to the Philippine Islands. As a freshwater crocodile, they can be found in lakes, rivers, ponds, and especially... Mar that's huge. What are they talking about small? Unless that's just a generic photo of crocodiles. Yeah. Um, no, but what I was saying is uh, squirrels is one of the only or the only animal that can literally fall from any height and not die. Yeah. Because they know how to fall properly. They spread their bodies out and stuff. Any height? Any height. Because they know how, because there's only a certain amount of speed that you'll ever have. Mm -hmm. But they know how to slow their bodies down in air. Because they spread their bodies out and they do have kind of, kind of like a sugar glider, but mm -hmm. not that extent. So that is kind of, if that is the crocodiles. Those that, are huge. Well, I mean, crocodiles can get up to... I think 21 feet. That's not far from it right there. Marshlands. You can tell a young hatchling by its golden brown scales, but the species thick scalene armor gets darker and darker the older it gets. While you don't want to get too close to its broad jaws, its diet mostly consists of small mammals, birds, and lizards. But don't let that fool you. But don't let that fool you into thinking that they're harmless See, to I humans. Small. <laughs> Despite being a smaller breed of crocodile, they still usually grow two meters long. And the largest recorded Philippine crocodile was three meters or nine feet long. You won't find me getting near so they the get up to nine end feet. of those teeth. Unfortunately, because of this fact, humans have been known to hunt and kill Philippine crocodiles. It doesn't help that their skin and meat can be sold for profit. Currently, the Philippine crocodile is a protected species. Let's hope that their number jumps. Have you ever eaten crocodile or alligator? Have I ever been eaten by one or had it? Have you ever eaten? Yeah, in Louisiana. Okay. Yeah, it's Back a really lean meat. Yeah. Number eight, Palawan it's a great protein peacock source. pheasant. This bird is dropped That's and gorgeous. That's a beautiful bird. The Palawan yeah, peacock pheasant beautiful. is known to be an elusive species of bird. But if you manage to catch a glimpse, you'll be rewarded with a great view of a beautiful shining coat of rich blue feathers. You'll know it by the distinctive crest atop its head and the male's distinctive tail feathers. Yes, the Palawan peacock pheasant is named after the peacock for a reason. Well, not as extravagant as the peacock male's lavish tail feathered. You want to know why? And it's it's with most bird males, but you want to know why the Filipino pheasant 
male is so beautiful? Because he's the one that's trying to get hooked up. Because all the female humans took the female beauty. Ah. Uh... <laughs> display so when it fights off predators or tries to woo a mate the palawan peacock pheasant is capable of extending its tail feathers in a similar way the plumage is covered in robin blue spots that resemble eyes and help to scare predators away they'll also use this extravagant display in their mating rituals the palawan peacock pheasant is one of those rare species of animal that is truly monogamous and both parents typically help to rear newly hatched chicks number seven Tamaraw. The Tamaraw oh is native to Mindoro, one of the largest islands in That's the Philippines, cool and so locals cow. generally cow? call it yeah. the Mindoro buffalo. dwarf buffalo, and this yeah. name is right on the money. The Tamaraw looks like, well, a dwarf buffalo. They are small and stocky, a gray-black color with a stout pair of straight, backward-pointing horns. Even though they're small for a buffalo, they still weigh a stout 200 to 300 kilos. Do you want to catch a glimpse of wild tamarall eating bamboo shoots and grass and forests and grasslands? Yes. Unfortunately, that's getting harder and harder to do. A count in 2016 placed the wild tamarall count at only 430, placing uh -huh. it on the crucially well, endangered species list. They continue to be hunted by poachers for sport and meat, and human population growth is relentlessly threatening their habitat. You know, animals like that, like, why not just go Arm them. kill a cow? Why you gotta shoot that? Because it probably tastes close to the same. Because people are assholes. <laughs> Luckily, the most recent count places their numbers at 466 to 494. Let's hope that upward trend continues. Number six, Dinagat, bushy-tailed cloud rat. You might not think of a species called a cloud rat as an exciting species of wildlife to seek out, but in many ways, the Dinagat, bushy-tailed cloud rat, is the holy grail of Philippine wildlife. It is the rarest of eight species of Philippine cloud rats, all hmm. of which are either threatened or endangered. It made its first appearance. Cloud rat sounds like some type of really crappy racist term. <laughs> you cloud rat. <laughs> like, I don't know who that would be used towards, but it sounds so horrible. Like, if you said it in a mean way. You know, they got that one on a leash. Yeah. It's only in the 1970s. I wonder if they use them for like, until 2012. like a pig. That's four to, decades between sightings. To it's find, no wonder uh, that many conservationists yeah. thought the species was extinct. They are a tree dwelling species of rodent that feeds on leaves and they can grow up to 2.5 feet long. Because wow. of the uniqueness Dang. of this critically endangered species, it is the mascot of the Philippine Biodiversity Conservation Foundation. But studies of the species remain limited due to how difficult they are to find. All I can say is if you're lucky enough to encounter one of these rare creatures doing your trips to the Philippines, count yourself lucky. That's a big rat. Yeah. Two and a half feet hey, long. Are you enjoying the video? Yes. Then make sure you find and click that like button down below. We're trying to reach 500 likes this time. Can you help us get there? Number five, Busayan, warty pig. All right, back to the animals. This is another extremely rare cute. species of animals driven from their homes by deforestation yeah. during the 1970s and 80s. Today, only around 300 of them live in captivity. They were named for the quote unquote warts on their faces, but Mohawk pig might have been just as appropriate for a name. That they one looks, they look like, the, uh, what's his name? Pumbaa. Yeah, Pumba. Distinctive tuft of hair. That's exactly what I was thinking. And that has been described as very mohawk like. Believe it or not, this floppy mane so is cute. grown by yeah, males small one. every year to help them <laughs> attract mates. But you'll also want to keep an eye on the sharp tusks that extend out from their faces. Yes, those can be quite dangerous, but that doesn't mean that their species deserves to be completely eradicated. Despite strict government poaching policies, they continue to be poached for their meat, which is considered a delicacy by some. Thankfully, the species is breeding well in captivity, Just and pig. efforts have already begun to reintroduce them into the wild. Number four, Philippine moose deer. I've seen these. Yeah, that's uh, Malaysia's. Isn't that Malaysia's uh, national animal? I honestly can't remember. I think that's their national animal. Really? Yeah. What would you get if you took a tiny little field mouse and mixed it with a graceful deer? Why, the Philippine moose deer, of course. Okay, this species isn't actually a moose deer hybrid, but judging by looks alone, it that would might be as well a, be. 
an Only odd interaction. 18 centimeters at the shoulders, they are hard to spot in their natural habitat, hiding amid thick vegetation. And if you do manage to find one, you'll only get the briefest of glimpses before it tiptoes away on its dainty little legs. Like many of the other species on the list, the Philippine moose deer has suffered a blow to its population from loss of habitat and hunting. Like the warty pig mentioned just before, its meat They're is so considered cute. a mm. delicacy. Look at oh, goodness. Three, Tusk. Whale things. shark. I Teeth. will admit whale sharks live in far more places than the waters of the Philippines. After all, the ocean is a big place. But since thousands of them migrate to the Philippine Elasmo Branch Mecca from December to May, they deserve a spot on this list. Sometimes reaching lengths of up to 40 feet, whale sharks are the largest species of shark in the world. So large, in fact, that they have often been mistaken for whales, thus the name. But don't worry, they aren't after humans. They swim around close to the surface to catch tiny food sources in the water like plankton. Do a YouTube search and you'll find plenty of videos of scuba divers safely swimming around massive whale sharks as they meet. Would you swim up to one? Oh yeah, 100%. I've, yeah. I've, I've actually watched a few videos about them. Uh, they are very docile. They're not aggressive at all. Yeah. Um, I'd have no issue with it. They're just big. And they're huge. Yeah, they're basically whales because they eat plankton and small, small microbes. Yeah. So it's not like a dangerous. It would be like a, a super like intense interaction though. Like my fear, but also kind of want to, is something like a blue whale or a humpback whale. Yeah. Like that'd be terrifying. But at the same time, you know you're kind of safe. Well... Unless you're a crab fisher. Yeah, a crab fisherman. But <laughs> He was a crabber. Uh, I had watched a thing explaining why he didn't get swallowed. It's because their their throats are smaller than even like a baby. Really? That big giant whale would not be able to swallow a human uh, because it's not, they don't, they're not designed to swallow. And it's to keep them. water out of their stomachs yeah so i'm in the deep blue in the philippines the prime time to spot a whale shark is from february to april and so if you're more of a beach and ocean type of person than a jungle lover maybe you would enjoy one of several tourist attractions in the philippines that doesn't seem like it's good swimming. i'd feel walk bad to walk on top of one philippine tarsier oh chances are you've seen one of these small primates pop up on youtube before their distinctive yeah. appearance gives the philippine That's creepy. tarsier <laughs> yeah. plenty of air time on wildlife programs like our own. With their long, spindly fingers, compact appearance, and absolutely massive eyes, so cute. there really isn't anything that looks quite but like also the creepy. Here. Yeah. In my opinion, it constantly <laughs> looks like it's just seen the most shocking thing it could have <laughs> possibly imagined. I mean, it looks like he's on drugs. The smallest primates, and everything about it is built for nocturnal life. I'm like widening my the first eyes thing while I'm watching. I'm like... Notice about this small creature the first time that you saw it is its massive eyes. It's like a Furby. Yeah. Well, these Whoa. are perfect for seeing at night. Likewise, its large conical ears are very sensitive, capturing and amplifying sounds very effectively so that the tarsier can use its hearing as a tool to navigate dark jungle nights. You might know some that weird tarsiers can be purchased as pets through uh. some exotic vendors, but you might want to think twice before buying one. These animals cope terribly with captivity and often don't survive the ordeal. They are better off left to the wild jungles that they love. Before we reveal our favorite animal native to the Philippines, thank I you so know. much for watching. And while you're thinking about it, why don't you go ahead and share this video with your friends? If you liked it, I'm sure they will too. Number Ooh. one, Philippine Eagle. Once oh yeah, wow. somebody wants us to eagle, eagle, watch a video that eagle compares the Philippine Eagle bird. to the In fact, eagle. It is Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's one of the largest and strongest species of eagles on the entire planet. On top of its impressive size, the Philippine eagle has an impressive long arched beak and distinctively majestic long crown feathers. Move aside, bald eagle. Here's a bird that <laughs> managed to keep its hair and it looks truly regal. In keeping with its reputation for strength and superiority, the rough. Philippine eagle also eats lemurs snakes and bats wow but the best thing about the philippine eagles is its success story not too long ago there were only a few of these birds left they were on the verge of extinction but thanks to the philippine eagle center their numbers have sprung back from the brink and they've been saved from extinction for now hey thanks for watching nice. want to suggest a video let even the bald eagle was on the brink of extinction for yeah. a long time yeah yeah we'll have to do a video comparing the bald eagle to the 
Apparently, there's a the there's a actual video already. Oh, really? For it. Yeah, people have suggested it. We just haven't gotten around to it. Yeah, we'll have to check that out. I didn't know the moose deers had tusks. Or, yeah, whatever you want to call those little things. Because you got to think it's probably the thickness of, like, a fingernail. Yeah, they're so tiny. As they are. I bet you they hurt, though. Oh, yeah. It's That's, cute. Look, I mean, it's so such a fat, fat body. Yeah, it's so fat. With these tiny little legs. Yeah. No, that was a good video, though. I... I I love animal videos. Yeah. I could watch animals all day long. They're so different and unique in their own different ways. And some, you know, they're omnivores, they're herbivores, they're carnivores. They're all different. So I really enjoy it for sure. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button, share it with your friends. Also, I will tag this video in the description if you guys want to go subscribe uh, to their channel. So, yeah. And with that being said, my name is Miles. And my name is Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out.